A number of people in the mid-70s left the NRC because they felt that safety concerns just weren't being taken seriously. The mindset, to be somewhat simplistic about it, was that everything was safe enough already that uh, anyone who wanted to raise a new concern, anyone who was skeptical that a particular plant should be licensed, had an immensely heavy burden to demonstrate that it was worth really perturbing the process. Because nothing, nothing serious had happened yet, uh, or at least nothing serious enough had happened yet. Throughout Thursday morning, Governor Thornburg felt uneasy. The NRC had assured him that the danger was over, but he wanted a first-hand assessment of conditions at the plant. It occurred to me, someone's got to go down there and look at that place and see it. And, uh, and I being, you know, 30 years old and maybe thinking I was more immortal than I really was, said, I'm going to go down there. Three Mile Island was in the middle of the Susquehanna River, in the middle of farm country. So it's not like you've got a lot of large buildings around. I mean, you just drive up and there they are. They're magnificently huge, beautifully engineered symbols of the power of technological society to do good and the power of the technological society to do harm. And right now you know something's going on in there that you don't understand and it can be very dangerous. When he arrived on the island, the lieutenant governor asked to see the source of the radiation releases. Before he entered the highly contaminated area, Scranton was fitted with a protective suit. This is like getting ready to get into a spacesuit to go on a spacewalk. There were boots that fit over pants, and I mean, there's layer upon layer upon layer. And it took me 45 minutes to get in all of the suits and putting all the dosimeters on me so that they knew how much radiation I got and the protective boots and everything. And I remember walking in there, and I must say I was quite unnerved the closer I got to it. When I started walking in, I looked down and I saw on the floor this water, which looked like, you know, water in your basement, except it happened to be in the auxiliary building of a, of a nuclear power plant. I realized that what was around me was highly contaminated. But I came back with a much clearer understanding of what was going on in that island. For on-site, we were there for about two and a half hours. When I left the plant, I had been exposed to about 80 millirems. So I, and I feel fine. The tour left Scranton encouraged. Though there was contaminated water, he told the governor the problem seemed fixable. But in the early morning hours of Friday, it appeared the plant was once again out of control. It was reported that a large burst of radioactive gas had escaped from Three Mile Island. Within minutes, Thornburg received a startling recommendation from a staff member at the NRC to evacuate the area. For about 45 minutes in my office, with all of our team assembled, we set about uh, on a crash effort to determine what had prompted this evacuation recommendation out of Washington, D.C. This whole question was constantly recycled. Uh, should we order an evacuation? Thornburg feared the prospect of a mass exodus. Earlier, he had directed an aide to review the state's emergency plans. His report to me on the evacuation plans was chilling, <laughs> to say the least. Uh, uh, one of the things I'll never forget was that he said that under the regimen that had been established by uh, the counties on either side of the river, uh, one Dauphin County where Harrisburg was and Cumberland County across the river, that their evacuees would meet head-on in the middle of the bridge over which they were to be evacuated. The burden of the evacuation decision was on Thornburg's shoulders. Whatever he decided, he knew lives were at stake. The governor was anxious to get advice from the chairman of the NRC. 
but he got no reply. In Washington, Chairman Hendry was still trying to get a handle on the facts. Frustrated, Hendry told an aide, Thornburg's information is ambiguous. Mine is non-existent. We're like a couple of blind men trying to make a decision. As the governor waited to hear from Hendry, a siren blared across downtown Harrisburg. That siren was like a knife in my chest. It was just, I thought, what on earth? Where did that come from? Someone had set off Harrisburg's civil defense alarm, sending rumors of evacuation racing through the surrounding communities. Could I hear attention, please? There has been a state of emergency declared on Three Mile Island. Please stay indoors with your windows closed. For residents, life seemed to be imitating art. Just 12 days earlier, a Hollywood film called The China Syndrome had been released in theaters across the country, giving Americans their first look at a terrifying nuclear catastrophe. I don't know. They might have come close to exposing the core. If that's true, then we came very close to the China Syndrome. The number of people killed would depend on which way the wind is blowing. Render an area the size of Pennsylvania permanently uninhabitable. It was a beautiful day, a very sunny, bright morning. My windows were open, my phone rang, and my sister wanted to know where I was going. She was calling from L.A. saying, get out, get out, hurry up and get out. And people around the country were calling and saying, you know, get out of there, hurry up and get out. Our neighbors told me that I was to come down to their house. They had guns and they had a chainsaw and a big truck. And they would get up on the highway, cut down any barriers that were there and fight their way through. And we would leave any way they pleased. So the idea that there was going to be any kind of an orderly evacuation was pure fantasy. Thornburg knew he didn't have much time to stem the panic. Shortly after 10 a.m., he finally got some welcome news. The radiation release had been grossly overstated. One critical number had gotten distorted in layers of garbled communications. The explanation did little to calm frayed nerves. The crisis in Pennsylvania had made front page news around the world. Hundreds of journalists flocked into Harrisburg, including Mike Gray. An engineer by training, he was covering the accident for a national journal. He was also the screenwriter of the movie, The China Syndrome. At one of the major New York dailies, the managing editor stood up on his desk and shouted, Who here has seen the China Syndrome? Three guys raised their hand. He said, You, 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 you're going to Harrisburg. So the movie then became a briefing film for the press. <laughs> 